The school superintendent in North Attleboro is reversing his decision to pull a book out of the elementary school's library. His change of heart comes after residents and members of the town council objected. WBZ's Paul Burton shows us how this played out. It's crazy. Ludicrous. North Attleboro council member Darius Gregory made his voice heard during this week's town council meeting. Emotions ran high over a decision to ban a book from the school's public library called Woke, a young poet's call to justice. I'm sitting here as the only black face in this room and I'm embarrassed. School officials say it was a parent here at Martin Elementary School who asked for the book to be removed from library shelves last spring. The decision did not sit well with town council members. During the meeting, Gregory abruptly walked out in protest of the book's banning. The book itself is a collection of poems by women of color that tackle issues like discrimination and diversity. Maybe it was the, the, the essence of the book. I mean, if, if we go read the book, um, it's short poems. It's about speaking up and speaking out. On Tuesday, Gregory met with the North Attleboro superintendent privately, and by late this afternoon, the superintendent released a statement saying, upon reflection, in the light of the dialogue that remains ongoing within our community, I have determined that the right course of action is to restore the book's place in our library. I think it's the right result. I think it's going to be controversial, and we expect that, but I do think it's the right result. School committee chairwoman Tasha Bazell admits that this entire controversy could have been handled much better. I'm disappointed in a lot of ways. I think there were a lot of procedural failures. I think um, there's a lot of conversation that could have been had that wasn't. I felt like I had an obligation to use my platform to do that, and I think if I didn't do that, I'm not so sure that book would be going back on the shelf this week. Today, the book is back on the library shelves. The school committee members say they plan to discuss the matter further during their next meeting on February 6th. In North Attleboro, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.